Um, some of my new work has been dealing with how uh, through digital technology we can uh, modify reality and um, this is one of my latest um, part of my latest body of work where I'm artificially creating UFO sightings around the world. Um, um, so basically um, I, I was uh, writing um, as I was preparing to write this paper for the In Transitions uh, catalog. Um, a lot has been changing in the United States and Russia and I've been trying to uh, get my uh, get a good understanding of that and it just seems to keep getting crazier and crazier as as uh, time goes by. Um, so, so when I began writing this in, in June of 2008, it was the, the summer was uh, much hotter than other, uh, and the, the conversations of global warming um, in in the United States and around the world has uh, has so many people talking. Um, as an artist, I found it uh, very challenging to try and capture these moments, um, and even more difficult to put them into words. Where the, the, the projects that I'm curating and my own artwork, it's more about um, just trying to put the images together, not so much trying to put them um, into words. But uh, the, pro the project that I curated for In Transition is called Drift, and that's uh, inspired off of, uh, inspired off of uh, Guy Debord, um, the founder of the Situationist International. And the one difference is that um, Drift, Drift is tr try attempting to bring together the unique comparison of some of today's uh, most engaging top young contemporary video artists and internet artists who all infuse their work within their work a strong socio-cultural critique. Uh, they focus on how communications and media technologies have opened up a space for video and new media to speak openly to the spectacle of uncontrolled influences and the myriad of ideas that investigate our mind's eye in our ever-growing infosphere. Uh, Drift investigates video artists navigating the psychological liberation and isolation brought about through new global, cultural, and technological advancements in the 21st century. The internet now allows us to drift from place to place, consuming information and influencing practice in an attempt to find meaning. We wander through great cities without walls, nations without borders, one multidimensional world searching for truth buried in centuries of lies and misconceptions. The great post-communist and neo-capitalist experiments have brought about the change everyone has been waiting for. The earthquakes in China and typhoons in Burma and the United States, the great floods across the American heartland, and the great RLC has been drained by the hands of man. All while our glaciers melt into the sea and war still rages on and people die and the politicians act like they care. The great global diaspora we are all part of is simultaneously miraculous and worrisome as the changing tides of knowledge, science, technology, and culture take us to places never before realized. A period of, great, a period of major transition is upon us. Like, like it or not, the supermodern era has arrived. The selected artworks in Drift are, in my opinion, signposts to help us navigate in a newly globalized world. Now, when, when I mentioned supermodern, um, there isn't a lot spoken of uh, supermodernism in reference to art, but there has been some significant um, research done in the fields of, ar of architecture, and design, and fashion, whereas an example of a supermodern piece of fashion is they're now making them, making a coat that is reversible, and you can put your cell phone in it, and as a supermodern art, comes into play, it functions beyond just um, standard sets of uh, cultural practice and um, has, has multi multiple dimensions that where it can uh, integrate itself within um, the culture at large. Um, 
We can organize exhibitions that bypass all borders eight years into the 21st century. We can see a reordering of knowledge and information through the widespread use of the internet, digital media culture has taken many steps towards liberating the individual. The global artist now has the ability to not only enter into a dialogue with the major art centers of the world, but enables them to create centers of their own in order to define and redefine their hybrid, their hybrid identities and socio-political socio positions. Not only are the lines being redrawn, but some are being erased entirely. The art that I see being made today suggests an acute observation, documentation, and critique of these changes. Forty years ago, the French situationist Guy Debord used the idea of drift or the derive to try and convince his readers to revisit the way they looked at their environment. The post-millennial manifestos built on historical radical changes in art and philosophy add new energy to encourage creative culture to break free of the binds of postmodernism and the unfortunate residual effects of the Cold War. And I must add, um, in, in recent weeks, uh, it, it's been a bit disturbing to hear uh, the national and international discourse happening in the, or what's happening in the United States, where they're actually mentioning a new Cold War. And um, I think as uh, uh, people um, interested in, in culture, I, I think we should all be very shocked and even worried at the, the, the mention of that. Um, a, 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 a hybrid creative revolution is taking place by a unique group of artists uh, utilizing technology to their advantage to analyze the world and distribute their message. All the deconstruction has led to the destabilization while brand new vi visions rise around us magically from the desert on the ruins of ancient civilizations. Have we fully entered the age of information or Aquarius or whatever you want to call it? Virtual places and psychic visions enable many of us to engage globally and locally with millions through places on the internet like YouTube, MySpace, Second Life, Wikipedia, Skype, and many other Web 2.0 applications. For a price, the whole world can be in our hands, and the story we are writing is both fact and fiction. A rapidly growing mobile culture constantly in contact with who, what, where, and when. Amazing technological achievements only dreamed of years ago are everyday requirements for the functioning core, while other parts of the world seem hundreds of years behind. The 13 works I selected for Drift Together tell a story that is both fact and fiction, real and virtual. Not so much a theme show, but a meta-narrative reflecting humanity's essential nature in a time of incredible change. The works define a new mythology beyond nostalgia and postmodern speculation. Speculation, I'm sorry. A document of everyday life very different from Vertov's vision, yet so similar in structure and influence. Almost a century later, these artists, a new avant-garde, bring us fragments of a 21st century epic, all of them searching for a deeper truth in the maelstrom of the Western spectacle. <laughs>